so my name is Josephine. I run a, a Stockholm-based startup called Food for Thought. The main focus of, of this concept is uh, food and work. In order to execute my business idea, I am in, in need of a kitchen and a partner, which will be a, a most talented chef that can complement the skills that I have. So, the approximate number for what I need uh, in the kitchen and this partner is 400,000 US dollars. This number is uh, equal to the number of unemployed people we have in Sweden. So f about 400,000 Swedes do not have a job to go to every morning. Uh, that's a big problem. So to make this more feasible, I'm focusing on a part of this group. Uh, many of the people within this group are, are women who have immigrated to Sweden from different countries. It's a diverse group of academics and non-academics. But you also see a lot of, of women with low level of education, uh, little uh, language skills, and almost no experience of the Swedish labor market. And I used to meet this group a lot in my former job as a so-called job coach, where my task was to support uh, women writing CVs and find jobs. It's a very difficult thing to do, to write a CV, if you don't have anything to put in, this, in your CV. Yeah? So I was very frustrated and not so happy in this job. And I started searching for solutions based on creating jobs instead of searching for them. Luckily, I have a big interest in food. So, through this, I, I started seeing a pattern that many of the women are, have informal culinary skills. It's something that they have been doing from early age in, in a comfort zone in their homes. So, a year later of concept development, I have reached a, a, a concept that is based on creating meaningful jobs through selling high quality food based on their own recipes. And, and organic uh, food from local farmers. This can create a financially sustainable business. I also have initiated a, a collaboration with the municipality in Stockholm called Botkyrka. In addition to that, I have initial funding from Tillväxtverket, and we have started to employ three women by the hour. So I can finally stop using the term target audience or target group and start using na their names which is Faisa, Asumman and Seher. And together we work with prototyping and concept development, which in our case means cooking and developing recipes. Um, I'd like to end by explaining the relationship between our social aim and our financial goals. So there's uh, many times we, there's a taboo between making money and, and saving the world. And in our case, the money-making aspect is crucial to the empowerment process. The meeting between our coworkers and clients is the ultimate receipt of their skills. When someone is willing to pay for the food that you just made at a market price, that's the ultimate approval of your competence. And that's the, the value foundation for our business. Thank you.